we can just head up here. I'm not gonna bother killing everything anymore. It just takes too much, too much effort to try to kill everything on screen. Uh, so we'll just move on, taking out what we can, and then I'll probably have to do some level grinding to make up for that later, but that is for later. That is not for now. For now, we are taking on Sand Stingers, obviously, and they are not that difficult. But you can only hit them once. That does make things a little bit more difficult. And apparently there's a spider legs there. Where? That is not nice. You've been doing it the whole time with it in its little sand pit. And now you want to remove that from from the from like the, the design of of the creature. That's not cool. Get Show up so I can hit you. There we go. This guy, probably the most annoying thing about him is that he's not always there. I hate enemies that you cannot hit all the time. We do have new enemies up here that I wish to put. How did he hit me? I was way too far up. Way too far up for that. These guys are uh, Robin Foots as opposed to Robin Hoods. Uh, of course, all the names of these guys are based off of Robin Hood, but this guy, he is... There's, no, there's nothing on the, the left side. That is weird. Usually they come in, like, pairs. You would think that would make, like, a perfect spot to heal because we need to do that. That'd make a perfect spot to ambush, but no. Nope, just the one side, apparently. Yes, cure everybody before you are dead. That would be most appreciated. Shion, you're not doing so well. I gotta, like, lure his legs up so I can hit him. Down he finally goes. And nothing on the left side. That is interesting. Let's head into the fire palace, though. And here we can take on more Robin Foots. Very... Well, it's not a confusing name. It's just a name that I have to think about saying because I'm not used to saying Robin Foot. You just instantly go hood. Can I head up there? So these two must be doors. I choose left first. And here we find another Robin Foot. Nope. You're not going to hit me, but I can poke you from a distance. And now we got that guy there. I'm just going to ignore him. Talk about flames, end of the line, and oh god, of course there's going to be more of these guys. What are you going to do? Cannot be avoided. Uh, but if you notice, the reason that I'm actually using something on them is because there's a crystal orb here. We need to use it on all of them. These are dark funks, by the way, and this is probably going to be the last time that I even attempt to kill them. Because these guys are just annoying. We blew the fire out, and away goes all the lava, and we are free to move on, except for right there, and we can't go that way. It looks like we should be able to. Do I actually have to kill these guys? Or is this like some glitch? Okay, um, oh, I had to hit, apparently I had to hit the triangle button to get that to go away. And now we have yet another annoying enemy of this dungeon. We've got the drops back. Of course, they are red this time as I am engulfed and I cannot move, which makes things very, very annoying for me. But if we could just keep killing them here, not letting them split, it would be very much appreciated. God, look how many of them there are right now. There were like five in there. That is absolutely ridiculous. One of them finally dropped a chest. So let's grab it, shake the shit out of it, and not get chocolate out of that. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Let's head down here. Which leads back to the middle. That is not what I wanted to do. Oh, great. Now we got two of them. I'm only taking on the one on the left. That... What the hell? No, 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 no. No. There we go. Shihan, get your turn. You need to heal everybody. That would be appreciated. Even though Jake's still engulfed and there's nothing I can do to really save him now, that status effect makes it so annoying. But they're not... I mean... No, don't throw them! Don't throw one of them away! Bunch them together! Shihan, seriously. We have fought these things before. It is not that freaking difficult to figure out what we need to do here. Down they go. Let's head down this side. And this is where I wanted to go. 
here we can uh, go through the opposite path that we could not go before. There is a treasure chest over here. Anytime there's a treasure chest in this game, you grab it. Because they are few and far between. And finally we can get, well, a thousand. Thousand GP, which is nice. Let's head up here. And there is nothing here, unfortunately. Just a dead end. We are not taking on that guy again. Let's head this way. And I'm going to avoid you if I can. Does not look like I can. So let's get down here. There are already three of them. Good lord. How the hell does this happen? And then, of course, they have the ability that makes me stagnant. That is not cool. I just want to poke you in the face until you're dead. Is that too much to ask? It probably is. Uh, God. I'll, I'll cut out me taking on this one and the one on the other side of this room. Hey, what do you know? This one didn't spawn. That's always good. Let's head up the staircase here. And we can find more Robin Foots that want to troll me and slow things down by casting spells on themselves. Luckily, I can take it out rather quickly. And now we need to use more Salamando magic. This time we need to use Fireball. Yes, you need to use these ones in particular. And it's level zero, not that it really matters. And this does extend the bridge. There was like, yeah, nothing over here. Your room of unparalleledness disturbs me. Everything must be synced up and symmetrical. It just does not work that way. Damn it, stop hitting me. These guys, I said they're annoying. They're not like deadly or anything like that. They're just annoying. And Yancy has leveled up to 26. Jake uh, did do that in the fight against the red drops stone trap and jake's petrified and lost half of his health and he just leveled up so it's not like he's going to be doing that anytime soon let's head up here i'm going yeah let's go that's a scary thing though but it does lead us to another treasure chest with Another 1,000 GP. Very, very nice. And let's go through that scary thing again. And now we... It respawned. Not too bad. Jake's skill. Oh, really? And she unleveled up. Jeez. You are getting a ton of level ups here. Do I need to work on the axe anymore? Because I think that's it for Jake. Just the axe. We'll see if he's still... I don't think... Need to level that up. We're not leveling it up on that guy. That's for damn sure. So we're probably not going to be fighting anything here. Because, yes, we're not fighting that. The part of we're not fighting that, don't you understand? That thing is evil. <laughs> They're all evil. Jeez, uh, oh, which way do I need to go this time? There are so many options. Hold on. I, I, I really do not remember. Hold on while I, while I try to remember here. Okay, I have remembered the way that I need to go, and that is up here. And it's actually the first one that I came across. My first instinct was right. We need to head up here, and we can take on these Robin Foots. Uh, well, yeah, they're not difficult, just uh, slightly annoying at times. And we can head up here, and there is yet another treasure chest. They are being overly generous today with the treasure chest. Gloves have reached level four. Very, very nice. Let's grab an axe's orb, which probably means that I have been leveling this up for nothing. Have I been leveling this up for nothing? I have. So let's switch to something a little bit more powerful for Jake, uh, because, well, what I was doing was crap. So let's go to, yeah, the claymore is good. But if you saw there, we also had leveled up the gloves for Xion. So now Xion can switch over to the Rising Sun. Yancy is get getting levels for... Damn it, the longbow isn't what Yancy needs to work on. That we need to work on that. So, uh, the whip definitely needs to be worked on. So that is what we will do. No, up here. You, you guys are making this maze far too difficult for me. That is what we can do now. So we can avoid these guys yet again. Because, once again, cannot hit them. Not really worth my time, to be honest with you. 
at this point. So let's move around. Now we can head down here. Even though this isn't our last time in that room or our ultimate destination there. We'll head that way nonetheless. Let's head through here and take on more bad mallers. This guy I at least can kill. Those guys can go fuck off. I hate the clouds in, in these games. And a red drop spawn down there. Uh, we will not go through there. There's, there doesn't seem to be a way for me to go up those stairs just yet. Uh, probably nothing either way. Cannot go there. So let's just head down here. We need to head up here, take on more Robin Foots, and then we've got, uh, yeah, I got that I'm probably going to ignore over there. Yeah, you guys can not hit them, so I don't really care. That opens up this way, so now we can head up here, and we're going around in circles. Hooray! Let's see if I can do anything up here. Uh, yes, I can. There we go. Back to Jake, because Jake is my main damage dealer. How did I miss him from there? Seriously, that went right through his freaking body. And then that guy can die. Now we can head up here. And we have made it where we need to go. Very, very nice. There seems to be another switch there that, once again, I cannot get to. Oh, there we can. We can get to it. Now, I need to use yet another magic spell. This time it is... I think... Actually, no. It's no longer... Yeah, we need to use freeze here. Which is a dick move, considering that everything else here has been fire. We need to freeze all but these two. And it has revealed the staircase going up. Why just those two stay? I'm not entirely sure. But let's just head up here, the only way we really can go. And it is boss time.